What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over how to kick and how to ban someone from your Discord. So let's cue right to it. Alrighty, so we're going to be going over two ways on how to kick and ban people. One is going to be insanely simple, and then the other one is not going to be so simple, but it is a lot cleaner and it has a lot more tools to it. So, for the first way, all you got to do is get your cursor and you hover it over the user that you want to kick or ban. Uh, if you cannot find that user, you can also go through the server settings and go to members, then you'll find all the users there. So you can either right click on them here, and you can press kick or ban, or you can find them on the right side of your screen, and you can press kick, then the reason, you do not have to put a reason, then all you do is kick. They can join back because they were just kicked, then if you want to ban them, all you have to press is ban. Once again, you don't have to put a reason. And it has you uh, do a little custom thing. Would you like it to delete the user's message history? Like if they were saying, if they're spamming a lot of bad words and you're banning them for that reason, then yes, you'd like to, you'd like to delete their previous message history. But if you don't want to delete it, you can press don't delete any, and then you can put a reason if you'd like, your choice. Then once you ban them, they're unable to join the server again. But there are some ways around that, which are very annoying. I've heard people can join back on VPNs and stuff like that. And you'll just have to keep banning them. Another way to prevent that is if you put an alt account uh, detector bot in your server that detects alt accounts that, that were like made very, very uh, like early. They were, they were made very new and it detects those alt accounts to make sure uh, that person that you just banned didn't just make a alternate account and join back and wants to break more rules. So that's how you kick and ban. Uh, now we're gonna go to the Me6, and this is a more complicated way, which is still very simple, but it has a little bit more steps. So we're gonna add Me6 to our Discord. As you guys see, we already did. This is Me6, I just put a little nickname on it. So we're going to uh, go to add to Discord, and we're going to manage this server, which is this one right here. We're going we're gonna to navigate to the moderator plugin. If you do not have this plugin, all you have to do is press enable down below. What it's going to look like is this. You'll see it uh, kind of a lighter shade. It's kind of like uh, faded out. All you have to do is press on that. Yes, and then you're good to go. You're going to navigate all the way down to the command section, and you'll find exclamation point ban exclamation point temp ban, exclamation point kick, and since a kick is also only temporary, there is no temp kick. So you're going to press on this command, and you can allow roles, ignore roles, ban roles. Um, so by adding roles, uh, the people with those roles can access this command, and the banned roles are people with that role cannot actually use this command. Now you can do a cooldown, you can do a server cooldown, so this is kind of like a temp ban, but it doesn't really matter. All you have to do is save, make sure it's enabled, and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, so when you're going to want to use the exclamation point ban command, uh, it's going to show you how to do it. So you do exclamation point ban, then the member, and then the optional reason. I found it a lot easier to just get the member's ID and do it. So uh, what you can do is right click on the member's name, copy ID, and then you're going to do exclamation point ban ID, and then they're banned. You do not have to put a reason. If you want to unban them, you can press unban, or you can go, ba go back to the server settings, go to bans, and you'll find the member that you just banned, and revoke it. Then they'll be good to go. They're not going to be back in the server. You're going to have to in invite them again, but that is how you ban them. Now, if we go back to a temp ban, you guys are going to see that you guys can put a cooldown. This is a, like universal cooldown. Um, I recommend you don't mess around with that. All you have to do is this. So I'm going to show you guys how to temp ban incorrectly, and then it'll show us the valid argument. Alrighty, guys, as you guys can see, it shows us right here on how to temp ban someone. So you're going to do the command exclamation point temp ban. You're going to do the member, which you can use the ping or their ID. Then you have to do the duration, which hours is specified in H, seconds is S, days is D, and then it goes on. Then you guys can do the optional reason. So we're gonna temp ban uh, Burrito's bot, or Dank Memer. As you guys can see, I removed uh, the bot's bot role, so we can see it as an online member. So we're gonna temp ban right now. We're gonna do exclamation point temp ban. 
and then you can either ping the member or you can just grab the ID, which I'm going to grab the ID because I think, I think it's a little bit easier. Then we're going to do the duration. So I'm gonna just going to do it in uh, some seconds. We're going to do 30 seconds, and then obviously you have the optional reason. Now the members on the members banned, and then you can unban them by going into your settings and going to bans, which is right here, and then you revoke the ban, or if you press unban, it will redirect you to the Me6 website. Give it a second, and then it'll pop up unban user, and you press unban. Now I'm going to reinvite me our uh, dank memer, and we are going to go and learn how to kick them. Alrighty, now we're going to kick Dank Memer. The way that you kick a bot is actually a little bit different than the other ones. You're going to do exclamation point kick. Then you actually cannot use the member's ID. You actually have to ping them. So we're going to ping Dank Memer. And then you're good to go. Uh, the member is kicked. And then you can't unkick someone because that's just not a thing. They have to rejoin. Now, I think... Um, if you guys are having any troubles or any problems, the main reason that you guys are having these problems is 100% going to be go to your server settings, your rules tab. The me6 rule has to be on top, all right? So we're going to reinvite Dank Member again and show you what it's going to look like if the role, um, if the hierarchy of your rules aren't working. You guys are going to understand this more in a couple of seconds. Alrighty, as you guys can see, I added Dank Member to the Discord. Now you can see the dank memer role is above me6. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to ban dank memer. So we're going to do exclamation point ban. Then we're going to get dank memer's ID. Then we're going to try to ban. Now you guys are going to see this message. I can't do that because my highest role is too low in the hierarchy. Meaning me6's role is too low. The role me6 is trying to ban a role that is higher than me6. So it cannot do it. I, that's why I, in my server, personally, I put Me6's role all the way to the top so it can always operate and function properly. Now that it's at the top, we're going to ban Dank Memer again. We're going to copy, paste. There we go. Now it works perfectly fine. So if you guys are having any problems, it's 100% going to be that. If you are having problems and it's not that, then I recommend you guys ask in the comments section below. I really do try to answer all the comments. If I don't, it's easier to add me on Discord. Um, my tag frequently changes, so if you guys want to add me, just join my Discord. You guys are free to leave. You guys are free to join. Do whatever you want. Um, the Discord server link will be in the description down below. We're about to hit 300 members in the Discord, and we're doing mega giveaways. So if you guys want to join that, once again, it's in the description down below. But I appreciate you guys watching the video, and if you guys liked it, make sure to hit the like button. We're almost at 1,200 subscribers, which is unreal. I really do appreciate all the support. But other than that, this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge, and I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll catch you around.